Hello friends! So today is exactly day 50 after I stopped taking my SSRI which is the antidepressant that I was given during my depression times. So I decided to share with you about my experience about what happens after you stop taking SSRIs. So for those of you who don't know my history, I actually made a video about my SSRI experience. You can click on the link up there. I hope it's there. Yes, I think it's there. Okay, the cl click on the link up there and you can watch the full SSRI experience if you are interested. But a really short summary is I had um, a history of depression and after going to therapies, I actually tried to cope with it. But when the depression came back again um, and with all the coping stuff that I learned it wasn't enough and so I was prescribed SSRIs I actually started with Cetralin and then I moved on and changed it to Acetalopram basically a year into taking antidepressant I started feeling better and I felt okay and I asked the doctor if it's okay for me to stop taking antidepressants and at that time um, what the doctor advised it's because I had a long history of depression I think about four years of depression at that point um, the doctor really wanted me to cope with a longer period of time of medication and then ease of it she didn't want me to stop so quickly because apparently based on history based on research people who stop antidepressants after a really short period of time has a higher chance of relapse. So I was being advised to take it for at least around one year plus two year before I stop it completely. But then, um, although she advised me to not stop it, she did start reducing the dosage that I was taking. So I went to like maybe three months of 15 milligram or maybe three months of six months of 15 milligrams and then um, at the final stage before I stopped it was five milligram just half a pill of 10 milligram for six months throughout that period I have been used to taking antidepressant I don't actually feel much difference when I'm reducing the dosage and at the site my life was going pretty okay I got a boyfriend I got a job financially I'm okay socially I'm okay like I am coping really well so by the end of last year on December 31st um, during my doctor's appointment the doctor and I both agreed that you know I think it's okay that we can put a stop on it and we'll see how it goes so I remember making this insta story at that time feeling so overwhelmed at that time I'm gonna post it maybe somewhere up here for you to watch so I just came out from the doctor's room and it's my first time not having prescri like prescribed medication right after it because I'm fine, I've been doing fine and the doctor decided that you know I can finally go off meds. We both agreed that you know I can try this and in six months time I'm gonna come back to you know just to follow up and see if I'm okay without meds. It's... I'm having so much feels. I am excited to go off medication, but at the same time I'm scared. But I think I want to try it, because... You know, if I don't try it, I don't know, right? But... But like, if, if it doesn't work out, it's okay too. I can always go back on meds and always feel good. I just thought I should commemorate this day because it, it feels huge for me and I'm like having so much feels. <laughs> but like yeah, I'm excited to go into the new year with like no medication I guess. Ah <sighs> Damn. So right after that doctor's appointment, I felt really overwhelmed. Like I'm happy that I have been coping so well, I've been doing so well that I am able to stop, you know, take antidepressants, that the doctor trusts me to do it. 
But at the same time, I'm so afraid. Like, okay, now what? What if the depression come back after I stop it? What if I start having suicidal thoughts? Like, there was thousands of things running in my mind. But I told myself that I'm just gonna give it a try. If I don't try, I don't know. The depression may come back, but at least I try stopping, right? So I did it. I remember one week after I take my antidepressants, I wasn't feeling much different. I felt like, oh, I'm okay. I I don't really feel it. But um, as my birthday was approaching, my birthday is on 11th January, and you know I stopped basically like 10 days before my birthday and it's because I had a traumatic incident that happened on my 21st birthday like five years ago it was kind of the beginning of my depression so during the time of my birthday I was extremely emotional I cried a lot uh, over really little things but mainly my birthday the past incident, everything that happened, I just felt so emotional that I started crying really hard. And um, I remember the day after my birthday, I was going to go get tattoo with my boyfriend. And that day I was craving for bubble tea, okay? And it's pretty common to have a bubble tea crave, it's okay. But the thing is, the store that I wanted to go to the moment I walked into the building and I was looking around, I realized that it closed down. So I was like, okay, no more bubble tea. I was angry, but I was okay. I just walked into the car, I was like, the shop is not there anymore. And then we went to the tattoo place and we asked the guy, like, you know, if there's any other bubble tea places close by. And one of the girls recommended this place that serves milk tea. So we went there. And I went there. It's not the brand that I wanted, but it's okay. And it turns out that they serve Hong Kong milk tea and they don't have pearl. You know, it's a big deal. I don't get my pearl. I really want my pearl. <laughs> and it may seem something really small, but I was so worked up and angry that when we walked out of building, I still bought the milk tea, which Kevin didn't understand why I bought it. Um, I walked out of the car, like of the building, and I remember I I knew my tears were coming out, and I didn't want Kevin to see it. I'm really ashamed that I'm being so worked up over something so tiny, so unimportant. But I did. So I walked ahead of Kevin. I just like I bawled out. I bawled my eyes crying. I was just so angry that I didn't get my pearl. <laughs> And that was when I started realizing that it could be the stopping my antidepressant that was causing this emotional breakdown. Because I remember when I was taking antidepressants, I was feeling really okay. I wouldn't say that I'm emotionally super numbed. Um, I still experience anger, I still experience happiness, sadness, I experience it. But I was able to handle it a lot better. I, and I didn't know it because it seemed so natural. I just felt like, hmm, I've, I've grown to be a more calm person and I, I can handle it really well. But turns out it was the medication and I didn't know until I stopped taking my medication. So I became extremely emotional during this period of time. I remember also when my friend texted me that she's getting back with this ex-boyfriend that we really think is not a good guy for her. I was so angry that I cried again. <laughs> it's so stupid but I would cry over really tiny things. And my crying it's not just like you know a little bit of tears in the eyes. It's like actually <laughs> kind of boiling boiling my eyes out crying kind of cry. And it's really embarrassing but that's what happened to me. And I think about Maybe three weeks into it, I started researching if it's normal because I'm also worried that the depression might be coming back, you know. So I researched and there was this article that says that it is common to have withdrawal symptoms like perhaps even six months after stopping medication. So 
reading that and finding out about that really reassures me that I'm fine and I shouldn't overthink that the depression might come back and you know I'm just gonna keep on trying to cope on my own without medication so that's one thing that happened after I stopped my SSRI it was those crying spells I just keep crying and crying and my emotions were really hard to be controlled I was really angry at one point and then I'm really happy and then I'm really sad and then I just keep crying and crying and crying that's not nice and another thing that was that I, I realized the difference after I stopped my antidepressant was my my sexual relationship my sexual health I don't know how what's the right but basically um, when I was taking SSRI I did realize a huge change in terms of trying to get an orgasm and that's what they call antidepressant sexual dysfunction basically it is harder to orgasm when you are on antidepressant which is pretty common I did experience that so one thing that changed after I stopped taking my antidepressant was I was able to orgasm more easily <laughs> Yep, I can't believe I'm telling the world this, but yes, that's what happened, so that's a good thing. And I don't think it happened right away, like right on the day that I stopped taking my antidepressant. Perhaps like two weeks into it or a week into it, I realized that it was easier to come. Again, I'm so shy, but I want to share. Because I think it's a really important part that people don't really talk about. It's almost like all this while after I started dating my boyfriend because I started taking antidepressant before I met him right um, it, it feels like all this while we have been having sex with the lights off and it's hard to turn on the switch and now the lights are turned on <laughs> so you can just flick the switch easily <laughs> oh my god I can't believe I came up with that analogy but yes that's how I felt right now Anyway, so how I feel about all these things. This, uh, so basically, these are the two noticeable changes for me as I stop taking my antidepressant. But it really depends on person to person. Like for me, the whole sexual dysfunction thing was a big thing, and the whole emotional suppressant thing was a big thing. So when I stop it, I can notice the difference. Antidepressant works differently for everybody. You may experience different side effects. Um, I, when I started taking antidepressants, I did have like nauseousness, extreme sleepiness, drowsiness, all that. But when I stop taking the pills, I don't feel anything at all. So that's a good thing. And how I feel about all these things. Like I said, right when a doctor tell me that I'm allowed to stop this medication, I felt overwhelmed, I didn't know to be happy or to be sad, I'm scared and now 50 days after I stopped my medication, I am even more confident that I will be able to cope without medication now. It's not without hiccups, I do have really bad crying spells still, I am still worried about what's to come but I want to believe that I will only get better from here because I know that it's it's always been times that you doubt yourself that you are not gonna improve and get better so I choose to believe that I am going to get better by stopping my antidepressants it's I'm not a medical professional I'm not a doctor I am just merely sharing my experience with you I hope that you are dealing with your sickness really well. I don't encourage anybody to stop the medications just because it seems like I'm dealing with it really well. It was a tough decision for me too. And you know, it's not, and I didn't stop like without consulting my doctor. We did plan to ease out my medication and then slowly quit. I hope that whoever is watching that is actually still struggling to stop taking SSRIs that you are able to cope well and if you are considering to stop your medications please go talk to your doctor and 
plan that out properly even if your mom wants you to stop it or like your whoever your partner thinks that you are depending on a medication fuck them just go talk to the doctor and decide what's best for yourself okay i hope this sharing helps to shed the light on what happens when you stop taking ssris if you have any questions if you have any like struggles about stopping taking SSRIs, be sure to comment down below. I'm not a healthcare professional, I'm not expert in this, but I hope I'm able to help in my ways, okay? I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next one. Bye!